I'm a total Sonic the Hedgehog fan, much like everyone else. I like the newer games, but I don't mind playing the classics. I don't think I've ever played glitchy or hacked games before, though I don't think I want to play any after the experience I had. It started on a nice summer afternoon. I was playing Sonic Unleashed. You know, I liked how you get to explore the towns in it, until I noticed, out of my peripheral vision, that's the side of your face, that the mailman has arrived and put something in my mailbox as usual and left. I paused my game to go see what I got in the mail. Dot dot dot. The only thing in the mailbox was a CD case for computers and a note. I took a look inside. I looked at the note first and realized it was from my dear friend Kyle. Let's just call him that. Whom I hadn't heard from in two weeks. His real name is Faggot. Yeah, that's actually what his mom named him. Birthright. Uh, yep. I know that because I recognized his handwriting. Though, what was weird is how it looked. It looked badly written and scratchy, somewhat difficult to read, as if Kyle was having a hard time writing it down and did it in a hurry. This is what he wrote. Hey Tom! I cannot take it anymore! I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late, and I was hoping you'd do it for me. I can't do it. He's after me, and if you don't destroy the CD, he'll come after you. He's too fast for me. Please, Tom. Destroy this godforsaken disc, before he comes after you too. It's too late for me. Destroy the disc, and you'll destroy him. But do it quick, otherwise he'll catch you. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. What wants. Just destroy it. Please. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Why would he send his best friend like this demon game? Maybe, maybe he's actually Sonic. Well... That was certainly weird. Even though Kyle is my best friend and I haven't seen him in two weeks, I didn't do what he asked me. <gasps> I didn't think that a simple gaming disc would do anything bad to him. After all, it's just a game, right? Boy, was I wrong about that. Anyway, I looked at the disc and it looked like an ordinary computer CDR disc. But who does that now? We have Steam, we have Origin. <laughs> Except it was... It, it had a black marker on it written... Dude, that was the, it wasn't it wasn't written in black market. There was a black marker on it. Written. <laughs> Sonic.exe, and it was much unlike Kyle's handwriting, meaning that he must have gotten it from someone else, like a pawn shop or eBay, because those are other people. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw Sonic on the writing of the CD, written on the CD, you mean? I was actually excited and wanted to play it since I'm a big, big. Emphasis on big. big is in all caps. <laughs> Sonic fan. Oh my god. If, if, okay. If I sent you a message with something and was like, there were blood splatters on the paper and I was like, please destroy this, would you be like, nah, I want to eat it? Well, <laughs> it would actually depend on uh, <laughs> what, what it said. I mean, if it was like, yo, I put some jelly on paper, destroy it, don't eat it, I'd be like, but it's jelly, dude. You have a good point. I went up to my room and turned on my computer and put the disc in and installed the game. When the title screen popped up, I noticed that it was the first Sonic game. I was like, awesome! Because, like I said earlier, I like the classics. The first thing I noticed that was out of place when I pressed start, there was a split second when I saw the title image turned into something much different. Something that I now consider horrifying before cutting to black. I remember what the image looked like in the split second before the game cut to black. Why would it cut to black? Aren't you, aren't you like, on a loading screen? Is that... it, it was a mini loading screen. The sky had darkened. The title emblem was rusted and ruined. The Sega 1991 was now instead Sega 666. <laughs> You're missing a number there, buddy. <laughs> and the water had turned red. Like blood. Except it looked hyper-realistic for a game made in 1991. <laughs> but the freakiest thing that was in that split-second frame was Sonic. His eyes were pitch black because the game was black. Uh, and bleeding <laughs> with two glowing red dots staring right at me. But where would the, the dots... The right at me is in caps, Daniel. I don't think you put it Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad. His eyes were pitch black and bleeding with two glowing red dots staring... Right. 
It's at me. <laughs> <laughs> and his smile had stretched wider up to the edges of the face because he wanted to imitate the Joker. I was rather disturbed about the image when I saw it, so I figured that it was just a glitch and forgot about it. After it cut to black, as he said it for the fucking fourth time, <laughs> it stayed like that for about ten seconds or so. That is, ten seconds is not a split second. Excuse me? And then another weird thing happened. The save file select from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 popped up, and I was like, WTF? <laughs> What's this doing in the first Sonic game? Anyway, then I noticed something <laughs> off about the background was the dark, cloudy sky of the game. Background of the dark, cloudy sky of the bad Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD. There were only three save files. The music was that creepy caverns of winter music from Earthbound. Only it extended and seemed to have it in reverse. And the image for the save file, where you see a preview of the level you're on, is just red static for all three lo the files. You know, because it's kind of hard to tell if something is reversed or not. It was definitely the creepy caverns of winter music from Earthbound, but it may or may not have been in reverse. I don't know, it was kind of hard to tell. Yeah. What freaked me out more was the character select. It showed only Tails and Knuckles and, to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik. Is that, it, is that how you spell Robotnik? It's Robotnik. Right. Oh yes. It's great. Now, I was sure something was up. I mean, how can you play as Robotnik in a classic Sonic game for crying out loud? Maybe Robotnik is actually Sonic. I mean, they're both round, right? Oh my gosh. No, he's actually <laughs> Knuckles, because he's red. But Knuckles is a pear. He's not a circle. <laughs> he's an upside-down pear. He's still a pear. <laughs> That's when I realized that this wasn't a glitchy game. It was a hacked game. <gasps> Yeah, it definitely looked hack. It was really creepy. But as a smart gamer, <laughs> I wasn't scared. But as least... a smart gamer... <laughs> hey guys, look at me, I know how games work. <laughs> as uh. a smart gamer, I wasn't scared. Or at least I tried not to be. I told myself that it was just a hacked game and there's nothing wrong with that. Anyways, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked file one and chose Tails, and when I selected and got started... <laughs> top tier writing! Oh, yes. The game froze for about five seconds flat, I had my stopwatch ready, and I had heard a creepy pixelated laugh that sounded an awful lot like that Kefka guy from Final Fantasy before cutting to black. For the sixth time. For the sixth <laughs> time. <laughs> The screen stayed about black for another 10 seconds, but we know 10 seconds is a split second, or more, and it shows the typical- <laughs> He always says it cuts to black for a split second, and then says it was black for 10 seconds. <laughs> then it showed the more typical level title thing, except the simplistic shapes were different shades of red, and the text showed only Hill Act 1. The screen faded in, and the level title vanished, revealing Tails in the Green Hill Zone from Sonic the First. One. <laughs> the music was different, though. It sounded like a peaceful melody. Like that song from Earthborn. In reverse. <laughs> Earthborn. <laughs> anyway, I started playing and had Tails running like he would in any other classic Sonic game. What was odd was that Tails was running along the level. There was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for No, wait, no. There was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for five minutes. Ha I, okay, first of all, who the fuck? If, if nothing happens, you're not gonna play the game for five minutes. You're gonna no. play it for like a minute and then turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> five minutes. That was when the peaceful music started to lower down into slow, deep tones very slowly. As I kept going, that's your own fucking fault. You probably broke the game by playing too long. <laughs> I suddenly saw something and I stopped to see what it was. It was one of the small animals lying dead on the ground, bleeding. That was when the music started to slow down. Tails had a shocked and saddened look on his face that I never saw him have before. So I had him move along, and he kept that worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals as Tail moved past them, looking more and more worried as the music slowers and he moves <laughs> past more dead animals. Oh. I I was- this is still a sentence, there has not been a period. I was shocked well, to see- Well, there's a comma. 
there's a comma for like it's like finding water in the desert to see a comma. No. I was shocked to see how they all died. They looked that still a sentence. They looked like somebody killed them in rather gruesome ways. A squirrel was hanged on a tree with what appeared to be his entrails hanging out. A bunny had all four of his limbs torn off, and a duck had his eyes gouged out and his throat slit. That, uh, there's the period. That's the first period I've seen for days. Dude, fucking fresh squirrel, bunny, and duck. Yeah, man. Dude, let's cut, um, turn on the oven. Some good eats. <laughs> I felt sick to my stomach when I saw this massacre, and apparently so did Tails. After a few more seconds, there were no animals, and the music seemed to have stopped. I still kept Tails to continue. I still kept Tails to continue. <laughs> I love still what a, keeping what Tails a glorious to sentence. <laughs> after a minute passed, after the music stopped, after a minute passed, after the music stopped, after a, okay, Tails was running up a hill. And then he stopped. It wasn't until I saw why. Sonic was there on the other side of the screen with his back against Tails and his eyes closed. Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile faltered. Obviously noting, no, 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 noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him. If not acting as if he was totally oblivious to Tails' presence. Tails walked slowly towards Sonic, and I noticed... I wasn't even moving my keyboard to make him move. So this had to be a cutscene. <laughs> way to way to break the suspense, kid. So this had to be a cutscene, no biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly I began to have a growing feel of dread as Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention. I felt that Tails was in danger and something bad was going to happen. I heard faint static growing louder as Tails was but inches away from Sonic and stopped to stuck his hand out to touch him. <laughs> that foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger and stronger and I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic as the static grew louder. Suddenly, in a split second, I saw Sonic's eyes open and they were black with those red glowing dots because I don't know what pupils are. Just like that title image. I thought... Th thought the, 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 thought, thought. thought there wasn't a <laughs> smile. What? I think he meant though. <laughs> when that happened, the screen turned black and the static sound was off. It stayed black for about seven seconds and then white text appeared forming a message saying, Hello. Do you want to play with me? At this point, I was creeped out. I didn't want to continue the game, but my curious. Oh, hey, I my curiosity got the better of me when I was taken to a different level. The level title now said, Hide and Seek. This time, I was in the Angel Island level from Sonic 3 and it looked like everything was on fire. Tails looked as though he was scared out of his wits this time. He actually looked at me and made frantic gestures to me as if he wanted to get out of the area he was in as fast as possible. I was starting to get freaked out by this dot 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 no space. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall, trying to tell me to get him out of there. So I pressed down on the arrow keys as hard as I could because that is how keyboards work. <laughs> as I'm, <laughs> and made him run fast as he could. I a mean, pixelated version. Okay, of... okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Okay, so we're talking about Sonic here, right? Yeah. So that's um, that's a two D. Uh, the the one he's talking about is that 2D or 3D? It's 2D. So so clicking down would it make you go forward? Clicking the right would make you go forward. <laughs> <laughs> A pixelated version of that creepy theme when you meet Shadow at the Ark as Robotnik from S Sonic Adventure 2 was playing. As I made Tails trek through the desolate forest, trying to help him escape from whatever he was trying to run from. Suddenly, I heard that creepy laugh again. Haha. <laughs> that awful Kefka laugh, which I still do not know what reference is from. <laughs> right after, ten seconds had passed as I helped Tails run through the forest because he's not a programmed character, and then I started seeing flashes of Sonic popping everywhere on the screen. Again, with those black and red eyes. You know, maybe he's just seeing Shadow the Hedgehog. You know. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> the music changed to that suspenseful, drowning jingle. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> You're drowning, get some air. As I see Sonic behind Tails slowly gaining up on him flying. See, see, Shadow, Shadow can fly. 
So, yeah. honestly. So it, it is Shadow. Sonic wasn't running, he was actually flying. <laughs> you just said the same thing twice, Arthur. The flying pose his sprite made was making look looked very similar to the Metal Sonic's <laughs> flying pose in Sonic CD. Except it was just Sonic and he had the black and red eyes again only. This time, because I guess it's not a new paragraph. No, it, it, he accidentally hit enter. <laughs> <laughs> he had the most deranged look, grin, looking grin on his face. He looked as uh, though he was enjoying the torment he was giving the poor little fox as he gained up on him. <laughs> Suddenly, when Tails tripped, another cutscene, the music stopped and Sonic vanished. Tails laid there and started crying for 15 seconds exactly. The scene was rather upsetting to watch, and I kind of teared up myself. But then Sonic appeared right in front of Tails, and Tails and then looked up Sonic horror. fucked Tails. <laughs> Blood started to come down those blackened eyes of Sonic's as a grin slowly grew from his face as he looked down at the horrified fox. I could do nothing but watch. Just in a split second, Sonic lunged at Tails right before the screen went black. There was a loud screeching noise that had only lasted five seconds. <laughs> uh, the author is actually an avid stopwatch collector. Yeah, man. <laughs> the text turned only this time. It said, you're too slow. Want to try again? And then that <laughs> god-awful laugh came with it. Oh, yeah, that uh, the Kefka laugh from uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I was so shocked by what had happened. Did, 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 did Sonic murder Tails? No, he couldn't have. He and Tails are supposed to be best friends, right? Wrong. Is someone dying in your house? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, you see, Sonic is actually best friends with uh, Knuckles. I mean, who Captain would want to be Knuckles? friends? Yeah, C Captain Knuckles. Uh, why did Sonic do this? So Sonic! Son Sonic, do that to him. I shook the shock off. As I brought back the character select, the save file that had Tails was different. Tails was no longer in the box itself, but in the TV screen itself. Oh. Which was flickering with the red static. Tails' expression scared me. His eyes were black and bleeding. His orange fur had gone back, and he had the expression of anguish on his face. Trying to ignore it, I, I picked Knuckles next. So, okay... He, he said that Tails is now in the TV screen. He's playing this on a computer, so did Tails, like, go to his TV? Yeah, yeah. Tails is, Tails is his, uh, uh, Tails is life. Okay, gotcha. The last came up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I think we scared off my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> he was By the way, all that background noise, guys, was him. No, that was him packing yeah. his stuff, because he, yeah, he, he was leaving. Yeah, he was leaving. He's gone. <laughs> Rip roommate. <laughs> Rip a roommate in Restorino. <laughs> Rip a roommate! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fight me, kids! The laugh came up again, and the screen cut to black again and stayed there for another ten seconds. Oh. This time, the level said, You can't run! I get it, it's because Knuckles a fat fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was really freaked out by now. I couldn't really tell if this was a glitch, or a hack, or some kind of sick, twisted joke. But despite my fear of what happened next, I kept playing. Pretty gay. <laughs> the next level looked so much, so much, much different. It had the ground of the scrap brain zone, but the sky background looked like the main menu. It's, it had the dark, reddish, cloudy sky, but it was the music that creeped me out the most. It, it sounded like the g g g g g g g g g g Right after you beat Pokemon in Earthbound. <laughs> <laughs> I also noticed that Canucks looked like a fucking pussy like Tails. Though not as much, more rather, he looked a little unnerved. He broke the fourth wall just like Tails, looking at it. As if he was, wasn't sure about where he was going, but I made him move anyway. He ran down the straight pathway in this dark level, and as he did, the screen started to flicker red static a couple times, and then that maddening laugh came again. 
Then after a few seconds of running, I noticed several bloodstains on the metallic ground. I felt a growing sense of fear again, thinking something horrible is going to happen to Knuckles. He looked nauseated walking down this bloodstained road, but I still kept him going. Suddenly, as Knuckles ran, Sonic appeared right in front of him with those black and red eyes, and then red static appeared again, when the static vanished showing nothing but black screen with text saying, FOUND YOU! Um, this is all in caps except for the U and the D in FOUND. Yeah, yeah, it's so it's supposed to say, uh, it's, you're supposed to say like, FOUND! Uh, D U. Yo! <laughs> I was now scared. Sonic found Knuckles already? What was going on? Anyway, Red Static came up again. I love the anyways. Like, <laughs> anyway. It's like he got his sidetracked. Like, anyways. When I came back to the level, Canucks looked like he was panicking. Was and picnicking. Was and Sandic was nowhere to be found. And this time, a high-pitched squealing from the Silent Hill's first boss was playing. <laughs> was this some kind of boss battle with Sonic? I hope to god it wasn't honestly, cause Sonic would fuck you in the ass. <laughs> Suddenly it, Sonic it's actually Shadow. <laughs> Suddenly Sonic appeared right behind Canucks in what appeared to be a pixelated black smoke. Because he's fucking Shadow. <laughs> I made Canucks turn, then punch Sonic. Wow. <laughs> wow. Cheap shot, wow. With Sonic vanished in black pixelated smoke, before I could even land a hit. That terrible laugh went off again, then Sonic appeared behind Knuckles. And I made him punch again! And Sonic vanished again, laughing. And Canucks was panicking even more, and even I felt like I was going to be crazy. Sonic was practically playing with us, he was playing a sick little twisted mind game with me and Canucks. Because I am part of this game. <laughs> Another cutscene played as Knuckled, as Knuckled, <laughs> fell to his knees and clutched his head, sobbing. I felt his agony. Sonic was actually driving us both crazy. <laughs> Whoa, zany! And then in a split second, Sonic lunged at Knuckles and the screen went black with another distorted screeching noise that lasted for at least three seconds. Oh, look at that. At least now. He's not as good as a timekeeper as we thought. Yeah, he messed up that one. His, his thumb kind of slipped. Another text message appeared on his phone. So many souls to play with, so little time. Would you agree? What the it, it hell? It should be. It should be. Wouldn't you agree? But okay. <laughs> what the hell? Just what is going on? I started to think Sonic was actually trying to talk to me through the game, but I was too scared to think that. <laughs> oh. I thought this, but I was too scared to think that. Yeah. I was oh. brought back to the main <laughs> menu, and this time the second file box had Knuckles in the TV screen. His red fur had darkened to a reddish gray. His dreadlocks were dripping with blood, and his eyes were black and bleeding too, and he had a look of sadness on his face. I began to think that those are actual characters trapped inside those TV screens. So he has dual monitors then. Oh uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, dual TV screens hooked up to his computer, or not m computer hooked up to his computer, not monitors. Well, I mean, a lot of people use TV screens as monitors, so. Yeah, so he's just rich. Well, sp yeah. spoiled. But I yeah. couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. So, I shut off the game and took a break. I got out of my chair. Did no, he he took a stuff. nap. Oh, uh, <laughs> I took a nap. <laughs> he decided it was nappy time. I took a nap. Comma, wish I hadn't. Comma. <laughs> Fucking apostrophe. Cuz I then began to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in pitch black darkness. Sonic surrounded me. His large hands started caressing my body. Sonic is love. Sonic is light. <laughs> <laughs> Though I was under the light, uh, given off by a lamp that hung high above my head, I could hear the cries of Knuckles and Tails nearby. They were saying stuff like, help us, and why did you give us to him, and run away before he gets you too. Their cries died out as I heard Sonic laugh, his laugh. It sounded like that fucking Kefka guy again from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> you're a lot, you're, you're a lot uh, fun to play with, kid. You're a lot fun to play with. 
you're just like your friend Ky- Ky- Kylie from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Though he didn't last long, I was scared. I'm looking around for the source of the voice. Won't be long now until you join him and all my other friends. I saw him walking around me, flickering in and out in several directions. You can't run, kid. You're in my world. Just like the others. When he grabbed me, and I saw his bleeding, black, and red-eyed, grinning face, I woke up with morning wood. (laughs) After a couple of hours, I decided to continue playing the game. I don't know why... But I had to know. I had to figure out why this was happening. So I turned on the computer, turned on the game, and selected Robotnik next. I still thought that was wacky. (laughs) Wacky! Playing as as Robotnik. But anyway, the level title appeared again, and this time it said dot dot dot, which I found really freaky. This time I was in some kind of hallway. Didn't really look like it was from any of the classic Sonic games, though it has the pixelated style. The floor was shiny and checkered. The walls were a dark grayish purple with animated candle lights and a few- Anime? Anime? With anime candle lights and a few (laughs) dark bloodstains here and there. And there was a dark red curtain hanging above on top the parts of the screen. Every 12 seconds or so, that red curtain sways very slowly. Nice, um... Uh, pre- yeah, it, what what is it called? Tense? Yeah. It, it's 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 called fucking wind. You fucking dipshit. <laughs> and there was a dark red curtain hanging above the on the top of the screen. Every twelve seconds or so, that red curtain sways very slowly. But whenever you're playing the game, you can barely see it move. The music was oddly pleasant. A piano playing a rather sad yet peaceful song. But I knew better. This was a song that played in Silent Hill Act 1, only it wasn't in reverse. No, it's it's the giggiest theme from Pokemon. (laughs) Robodick didn't look entirely nervous, like Tails and Knuckles did, but he did have a suspicious look on his face as if he he was just a little bit paranoid. He did a little anime- anime? (laughs) Anime? He he watched a little anime. (laughs) Yeah, and when I left him standing, he turn he turns his head to the left. Nice, good tense. He turns his head to the left. There's a lot of tense changing going on. And then to the right at least at least twice. <laughs> and then he shrugs at me as if he has no idea where he was or what's going on. Nice, present tense to past tense. Slick. Even though I was scared out of my mind. Out of <laughs> about what was going to happen. I had Robo Dick continue onward. He did his usual running animation. You know, when you've beaten him at the end of the classic Sonic game and you chase him because, you know, I fucking beat that game. I'm a fucking hard ass. <laughs> He's as a we smart continue- gamer. <laughs> as we continued going through that hallway. Then I stop at a long flight of stairs leading downward. Now I was nervous. Even Robotnik seemed unsure of himself, though I pressed onward. As I led Robotnik down the stairs, I noticed that the walls have gotten darker and more reddish. The red torches are now an eerie blue. Then we landed onto another hallway. This one was longer than the last one, or at least it felt like it. And then we headed down another flight of stairs. This one was much longer. Did that one just at least feel like it? Are you not too (laughs) sure about that one? Took at least one full minute. Well, damn. And then I heard that horrid Kefka laugh. Kefka from Kingdom Hearts again, and then the music slowly faded until it was quiet. As it did, the walls turned more dark red and the torches were a black flame. Now, when Robotnik landed onto the third hallway, I noticed he now looked really creeped out. Oh, he tried to hide it. I couldn't blame him. I was scared too. Suddenly, Sonic popped right in front of Robotnik the same way he did Knuckles and then Red Static. The red static lasted for about 15 seconds, and then it showed me a, a, oh, I thought that said moist, and then it showed me a moist, unpleasant image. The image showed a hyper-realistic, uh, just a hyper-realistic of Sonic, (laughs) standing in the darkness, where you can only see his face while his head and torso are faded in black, so it's really just his fucking face. And when I say hyper-realistic, 
I mean, like, you could actually, you could, you would so real, you could actually see the, uh, see the lines. Have you ever had a dreams? In his blue fur. But is it really fur? Because it looks fucking solid to me. <laughs> As if you could actually feel the fur if you touch his face. His face, oh god. I'm a furry. He had the most horrifying smile I had ever seen. And that's saying something, considering I saw that image at the start of the game, which has only appeared like five other times in this game. <laughs> wow, this, this guy is like going through some war time right now. He's, he's, he's going to have to suffer through PTSD he, after he, this. He's, he's remembering the Vietnam War. <laughs> this is worse. His eyes are wide and black, and once again, crying blood. Which also looked hyper-realistic, you know, because, I don't know, it looked like a hyper-realistic... Why, did, why does he feel the need to, like, make everything... Oh, it's the best graphics! <laughs> and, and there, were two small glowing red dot eyes in the black eyes that uh, were eyes, also staring right at me. Red <laughs> caps. As if staring into my mind. His grin was wide and demonic, it literally stretched from the sides of his face, like a Cheshire cat from Kingdom Hearts. Oh <laughs> shit, he's really from Kingdom Hearts though. He's in it. Yeah, he's in a few of the games. <laughs> Except so Sonic had fangs. Very sharp dicks. Very sharper in caps. Also, l much like the werehog's teeth, except more vicious looking, somewhat yellowish, and what are fucking sentences? Uh, this guy doesn't know. <laughs> he had stains of blood and small bits of flesh on his lip, and fangs as if he ate some animal like tails or knuckles. He said he had fangs like six times in one sentence. I stared at that gruesome image for a good 30 seconds never taking my eyes off of it. I felt as if he was actually looking at me, smiling. That face. It just took 10 seconds to etch itself into my brain for good. He calibrated the exact number of milliseconds. Yeah, while he was fucking scared out of his mind. <laughs> for him to become traumatized. Then the screen flickered with red static again three times, and on the third time, I heard the Kefka laugh from Kingdom Hearts, except this time it sounded distorted. Demonic, even. It went back to the image again, except this time there was the text again, though it was messed up, but it was pretty much one of the most horrifying things I looked at since I had this game. Oh. I... I am a god. I... I said, what's up, ye Jesus? He said, what's up, Jesus? I said, I'm just chillin', trying to stack these millions. Oh! It was when I read that message while looking at Sonic when it hit me. I'd realize right there and then. This Sonic was a monster. A pure, evil, sadistic, all-powerful, nightmarish, demented monster. It's just your fucking OC, man. <laughs> and all of his victims, including Tails, Knuckles, Robotnik, and possibly Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts are just his little toys. And the game is the very gateway into his chaotic, nightmarish world and the very hell his victims are trapped in. Suddenly, in an actual split second, not ten seconds this time. <laughs> it was literally half of a second. Like, he said an actual split second because yeah. he timed it. I screamed as Sonic lunged at the screen. Screeching loudly with his mouth wide open. With arms wide way. open! <laughs> <laughs> Revealing nothing but literally, but a literally spiraling <laughs> of pure darkness before the red static came again. This time my louder, my much louder and distorted. So loud, it fucked my ears. I yelled and grabbed my ears as the red static screeched for another good seven seconds. Then it stopped showing nothing but black screen. It's racist. As I sat there staring at the red sc black, black screen, one last text came up. You ready for round two, Tom? <laughs> the Kefka laugh from Kingdom Hearts, now sounding more clear as if Sonic was right behind me, played again three times as I looked at the text in shock and confusion. Then I got booted back to the main menu, and this time the third save file had a TV image of Robotnik in the same tormented state oh, as Tails wow. and Knuckles. <laughs> Robotnik's skin turned a dull gray, his mustache drooped and had blackened, his glasses broke and blood is coming from them, and he had a mere dead-like expression on his face. I love the tense changes. Yeah. They're great. Mm-hmm. I looked at Tails, 
Knuckles and Robotnik, and I cried a little bit. Wow. I pitied them for the agony they're going through. Wow. And they were forever trapped within the game. Wow. Forever tormented by that horrid hedgehog. Wow. And always will be. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> then the computer shut itself off. I couldn't turn it back no on no matter what I did. Fucking... Dude, it's not that asshole, dude. This computer was like eighteen hundred dollars. Like, it was a gaming good. computer with freaking. Dual oh, you know, TVs. no, it's it's probably because he didn't build it. Probably, he probably yeah. bought it from like yeah. Alienware or something like that. And it dies in like three months. Yeah. I sat there for maybe twenty-five seconds <laughs> after the computer turned itself off and couldn't turn back on for twenty-five seconds. He was too scared to hit his stopwatch, so he wasn't too sure. <laughs> Horrified by what just happened, Sonic is the embodiment of evil. He tortures people who plays this game in more ways than one. And when he gets bored, he drags you into the game. Literally drags you into hell. <laughs> where he can always play with you as his toy. I can't get the game out of my computer. Oda. I think it's stuck there. But at least I managed to turn it on after the 25 seconds had passed where it couldn't turn on after no, what, nothing I did. But at least I managed to turn it back on. Why would you want to? And I love... Okay, so he he wrote this story after he experienced this. Oh. But he starts the game saying that he loves Sonic. But right yeah. now he's saying that Sonic is pure evil and a demon. <laughs> There's one last paragraph. I'll leave that up to you, good sir. Thanks, good sir. <clears throat> After I sat there for 25 seconds, I heard a voice right... He made sure to time that 25 uh, seconds yep. this time. Yep. I heard a voice right behind me, like a whisper. Try to keep this interesting for me, Tom. I turned around to see where the voice came from, and what I saw made me scream. Sitting on my bed, dot dot dot. Staring right at me, dot dot dot. Dot 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 was a sonic plushie, smiling with blood stains under its eyes. A sonic plushie flew out of his dual TV setup. Yeah, yeah, and it, it just sat on his bed. That was a great story, I think. Yeah, at least I, I, at least ten out of ten. I would give it ten out of ten would uh would rate again. Would rate it again, I'll rate it again. Ten out of ten. Alright, so uh any afterthoughts about this uh, wonderful piece of work? I feel like the grammar and um, sentence structure is really the strong suit of this sentence. I'm sure. I'm sure the person who wrote this isn't like I don't know the grammar Nazi. It's okay. <laughs> but I mean, okay. There's a difference between minor errors. Like Boroska has some minor errors, but di like this is just really bad. Hmm. I mean, story-wise, it was shit. Writing-wise, it was shit. But you must remember, it was about Sonic. That makes it good. Yeah, yeah. At least compared to the recent games. Oh, snap! Yeah, like, like you know, Sonic Boom, one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I, if, I, if I remember, this Game Grumps did a thing on this series. And, you know, if you, if you want to go watch that... Uh, they, they even have an episode where they just go back and review all the glitches and shit that happened in that game. And it's like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's great. That's yep. This story is the Sonic Boom of Creepypasta. Yeah. I can't. I sure can't wait for Sonic Kaboom, the sequel. That's oh, yeah. Be great. Yeah. And then Sonic Kaboom Boom Boom. <laughs> and then Sonic gotta get that Boom Boom Boom. <laughs> And then, and then Sonic.exe. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic.exe, boom, boom, boom. Hypest game of 2018. Okay, yeah. well, thank you very much, Psych, for reading this story with me. Ah, it's my pleasure. Anytime. Thank you very much, listeners, for listening with us. Yeah, I mean, it's only a good 45 minutes. <laughs> um... Good luck, and uh, God save your soul. May Sonic be with you. Yep. And uh, make sure you cover your butts properly. Yeah. See you later. Faggots. <laughs>